Okay, it was um, some time back that you had posted something. No, it was in a video that you said that um, this is what we can do when we pull the trigger too soon. Mm -hmm. Like if it's, you were expected to go up mm -hmm. and instead it's going down. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy, say, a, co uh, a put in that case, right? Um, for a couple of days later, mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure that I fully understand. I think you were saying, like, if you still expect the the trade to go in your favor, but right, yeah, but you did it too early, which mm -hmm. means you have a pull back. Yeah, uh, if you if you do the opposite on the opposite side. Right. That will that will help you. Um, what if it doesn't turn around? Would that still help you? Uh, yeah, you're pretty much as well if it doesn't turn around. Um, oh, okay. but what but what will happen is you need to manage the trade. So it's it's a it's one of those things you have to follow your rules. You know, you create that rule and you follow it to the letter. So so here's what I would do. You know, for example. Uh, today, actually, well, let's let's just build uh, a use case. If you buy a long term call, right? Yeah. Buy a long term call, and you've got plenty of time, and you decide. Okay. I mean, it, it works for a little bit, and then it stops working. Uh, okay. for some reason, say there's some fundamental change, something happened fundamentally, and you have good faith that it will continue to perform at a later time, then you could, you could do one of two things. You could either let it go, you know, let it stay. Right. And, uh, because it's bleeding, you need to do two things. Number one, you need to, you need to have a hard stopping point. That's, that's number one. And, uh, number two is you could in the meantime, buy, you know, employ a strategy that is going to help you for the actual direction that is happening. So okay. th there's a good example. It's a good example. So last Friday we bought strike. No, yeah, crowd. Is it crowd? 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 Uh, yeah, yeah, crowd. Sir. Mm. We, 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 we purchased crowd and it paid us. Now I, I benefited greatly from that trade. That was a great trade. But there were there were people who might have got it in too late, mm -hmm. right? Too late. So it, obviously, you can see based even on where it is today that they're bleeding. If they stayed in, they're 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 bleeding. Because that thing was at three hundred and something, and now it's at two hundred fifty eight. Actually, in pre market, yeah. it is at two fifty. So they definitely are losing tons of money if they are still inside of that trade. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. So two things that they could have done: their stop loss would have helped them if they have a, if they had a stop loss. That's number one. And another thing that they could have done would have been to maybe buy a single put. You know, uh, you know, for uh, you know a month out or whatever number of days out. And usually that defensive strategy would be to buy an out of the money put. Oh, out of the money. Okay. It would it would usually be out of the money put. Otherwise, if if the if the stock starts turning around real quick, then that put is going to cost you. It's just as bad as an out the money or in the money put, right? It's going to start bleeding real quick, uh, real heavy. So it's a defensive mechanism that uh, that you could employ. Personally, I don't like that. I I am more of the school of thought that if it's not performing, just cut the trade. Right, cut the trade and then reevaluate whether it is still a good trade. Yeah, that's my mo. That's that's the way that I would uh, I would work on it. Um, I prefer to, um, you know, I don't like to see red too much. Right, actually, yeah. I don't like to see it at all. I, I just I just want it to to work. It it's. Been there too long to where 
you, that hope doesn't necessarily pay out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unless you're in a bull market like in 2020, where you just simply bought a call, went to, you know, went shopping or went whatever and came back and closed it. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. in many years we've had bull runs like that. Uh, those days are kind of gone. Now the market goes up in the morning before you say Jack Robinson, that thing is down, right? Then you turn around and you think, my goodness, you know, puts the name of the game. No, 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 no. SPX decides, no, nope, uh, you know, going back up. And then there's this thing, new thing called power hour, three o'clock. Uh, comes in and uh, destroys every known imagination. You know, all your dreams, you know. Yeah. Just, yeah, they, they're just gone. So anyway, that's my short answer. Hope that oh, was okay. short. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, well, today is July 25, uh, 2024. This is Power Morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Eddie with uh, uh, Options with Eddie. And today we are talking about options. So if this is your first time, welcome. Uh, make sure you trade and tread carefully, right? If you um, if you know what you're doing, by all means, do it, man. Smash it, do it. Don't don't hold back. If uh, if you don't know what you're doing, eh, not not a problem. This is a safe place. Just make sure that you're doing it in paper trading. This is for education purposes only, by the way, not a financial advice. And of course, if you're watching this video for the first time, um, down there, go ahead and make sure you click on subscribe, notify, so that uh, the next time we drop something, uh, you're well aware of it. Cool.